Welcome back everybody. As we continue to deal with the pandemic, 3 News Now is doing stories to help us all rebound from its effects. Local restaurants continue to suffer. You can help though by ordering takeout on this Takeout Tuesday. Well, a new Metro restaurant is getting a lot of buzz thanks to its ocean inspired menu. The owners are from the Pacific Coast. The chef lived there too, and so did their general manager. Their expertise and the succulent seafood is proving to be a winning combination for Omaha. Things are heating up in the kitchen at Pacific Eating House. The food here is all Pacific Coast inspired. Everything that touches the Pacific Ocean, Alaska, all the way down through Mexico, um, the Pacific Rim. General Manager Brittany Love takes pride in their fresh seafood. The fish that I get is literally in the water 48 hours before it's in our hands. So I call them up and I'm like, hey, can I get 20 pounds? And it is on its way. We can start the fish and chips. It's no surprise the cod and chips here are so flavorful. They're beer battered. And I think that's that's what really uh, puts it over the top uh, without the, the grease factor. And served with apple slaw and fries. That's the lunch cotton chips. That's three pieces. The dinner would be four. Brittany says the JDF tacos are also a hit. They are a blue corn shell sockeye salmon taco, avocado aioli, fire roasted red pepper pico, fresh greens, and we have our own miso glaze on the salmon. It is a flavor explosion. But it's not all about the seafood. We have our flank steaks that are marinating. Chef Patrick McCracken shows us how he makes one of the most ordered meals on the menu. It's not similar to a lot of other steaks you get anywhere else. He doesn't rush this. Once the steak's grilled just right. How's it looking? Very good, very good. It's sliced. It's a good mid rare there in the middle. Prepped. So then we'll top that with a little pistachio, some crispy shallots and then just some fresh herbs and ready to serve. It comes with white jasmine rice, fresh green beans and a spicy jow sauce. That is the crying tiger. They have this one on it again. Absolutely. What's unique about the Pacific Eating House is every item on the menu shows you where it's from. So the cod that Patrick just made, you can see is from Alaska. From the Seattle clam chowder to their savory salmon salad to their popular Korean inspired bowl, so you're definitely going to get something you can't get other places in town. So this is a, a strawberry rhubarb cheesecake that's made in-house. And don't forget dessert. There's something for everyone on our menu. It's addictive. There's times where I've seen people for lunch and dinner. A good sign after this restaurant was forced to close due to COVID just two weeks after it opened last March. It was a lot of hours to get this place open, a lot of cleaning, and then just to be completely shut down. Um, it was heartbreaking. We're back at it and we're getting busier, so we can only go up from here. Up and always to the Pacific Coast.